Hi, I'm Vicki Schofield. Welcome to my 40 days of colourful prayer journaling. Today is day 32 and I am going to be drawing an initial letter. I was thinking about the, uh, the medieval style. Here's a lovely example. Um, I, yeah, I have attempted that sort of thing. I don't get very far with it. That is not me. This is more my style. 2015 was when I had my back operation and I could throw away the walking sticks and walk freely again. And so this is a lovely uh, illustration of that for myself. So this is my style of initial letters and uh, illustrating letters. So I'm going to be doing something, um, I think I'm going to be doing something like a flowery meadow. So my letter is going to explode with green and colour of flowers. Uh, it's going to be messy and it's going to be reflecting me. So I've drawn an O and now I'm picking out some greens to begin with. But I'm also going to do, and I may not use all of these greens, I'm just picking out the greens so I've got them ready. I am going to do some shadows with brown. Um, might use that one. And then um, I might have some very dark shadow at the bottom. Yeah. Um, I'm at the bottom of the grass, this is, of course, that you, yeah. And then I want some nice colourful flowers. So I'm going to have a bit of yellow and orange, I think. Um, a bit of red. Yeah. And maybe a bit of pink. We will see. So I'm going to start by just outlining this with the green. I haven't, deliberately haven't, um, done a, a round outline. I could have used a stencil or a set of compasses, both of which I have. But I have chosen to do this as an organic shape, the kind of shape you'd get if you were trying to form a circle with grass and soil. It's never going to be even because the roots will push it out in places. So I'm just going to do a light covering of green, not worrying too much because there's going to be lots of layers on top of here. It's just to give that background of green. And then I'm going to maybe make the edge a little rough with the grass. And I'll do that on both sides. Just making it a bit fuzzy. There'll be more grass in a minute. <laughs> There'll be lots more grass and flowers and leaves and stuff. This is just the underpinning so that you've got this background. That's the thing with these kind of playing around things. 
what you do in the first layers isn't what turns up afterwards. There's a stage in every drawing or painting where it looks ugly. And that's because you haven't got to the final layers yet. I always find the beginning layer is rather beautiful. It's simple, it's, um, yeah. But then you go through an ugly phase while you're putting on the, the middle layers. But then when you put on the top layers, which may just be highlights and, and deeper shadows, it suddenly becomes beautiful again. Unless you mess too much and then you take it back into an ugly stage and you have to keep going until you get to the beautiful stage again. But, you know, I think there's something about life in there, isn't there? That our lives have to go through ugly stages as we change and grow and develop and move into the next stage, which may be more ordered and beautiful, or at least to other people. I think to God we always look beautiful. I think I want to start putting some flowers on before I lose the light. So I'm going to start with yellow because I love yellow. And we're going to have some kind of flower there. And because it's yellow, I may need to outline it with the orange. Just so that we can see it's got petals. Yeah. Something like that can have an orange centre, can't it? There we go, that's cheerful. Um, so if I carry on with that and do a few more, I might as well start with the orange, fill in with the yellow. And you can see what I'm doing. I don't know why I'm doing the stalks in yellow. They're going to be green, aren't they? But we can carry on like this, do a few more. going to make the stems a bit green on these. And I might add some leaves from the base. These aren't real flowers so I can make it any way I like. I think they're just going to have two each at the base. in the middle. And they can have slightly different leaves. Normally I would turn the page around as I'm doing this but because I'm not sure whether I would keep it in the camera, I'm not going to bother. But I'll get some kind of leaf on here. Okay. 
Are we flourishing? Yes, we are. So the next colour is going to be the pink. So I'm going to start with a red outline. And I think these are going to be just in the grass. Like, I don't know. Maybe they're not pink, maybe they're just red. Like little scarlet pimpernel flowers, I love those. Oh, that one's more like a butterfly. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Maybe they're all butterflies. See, this is what happens when you just doodle. You decide maybe what you think you're doing isn't what you're doing. I think I want some blue flowers in amongst here as well. Um, mm, quite big blue flowers, okay. I think that's enough flowering. <laughs> I hate to say that because I'm sure there's never enough flowering in life, is there? But I'm just going to add some more grass now. I just want a little bit of, mm, yeah, I said I was going to use grey, didn't I? I don't like grey very much. <laughs> Prefer colour, but maybe just a little bit of grey. Because life does have grey times. In amongst the colourful, flourishing times, there is a little grey as well. And sometimes for some people, the grey can feel like it's going to win. But then we have to keep turning back to God and remembering that he has overcome the darkness. And that the darkness can never overcome the light because he is the light. So we mustn't let these grey times swamp us. I keep coming back to him for that light. And that's as much grey as I'm prepared to put in today. <laughs> um, okay. I think that's my colouring. They 
will still bear fruit. So that, that is my affirmation for myself that in old age, and it'll be a messy, colourful old age, there will be sorrow, there will be pain, but there'll be a great deal of joy and friendship and laughter. And I will still bear fruit right to the end. Do have fun trying out different ways to express how you feel to express your way of being with God. Mm -hmm.